everyone, it's Miss Sarah, and for today's craft, we are going to be making jellyfish. This little guy is easy to make, and it works on a couple different fine motor skills. We work on our pinching grip, and then we also work on cutting. So our jellyfish craft is really easy to make. You don't need a lot of things. We're going to start off with a paper plate. We're also going to need some markers or crayons. I'm using the dot dot markers that we have here at the library. You're going to need some tissue paper. You're also going to want a pair of scissors, a glue stick. If you have any at home, you're going to want some googly eyes. If not, I'm going to show you how you can make those big, fun, round eyes just using white and black paper at home. So to start off making our jellyfish, we need to cut, a, cut our paper plate. So I'm going to trace, draw a wavy line on that plate about two-thirds of the way down. And then I'm going to cut that out with my scissors. So parents, this is a great skill for kids because they can practice tracing and cutting on that line. So now that it's cut out, I am going to just color it in using my markers. Now you can make yours all one color or you can do different colors. I want to use different colors. So these dot dot markers are great because you can work on a pincher grip when you hold them. They're nice and thick and they have two kind of thinner sides that kind of show your child where they need to grip when they're holding the marker. So they pinch instead of holding it like this, which is what a lot of kids tend to do when they color and draw. So now that that's all colored in, I'm going to work on making the eyes for my jellyfish. So we're going to start off with some white paper. Then I'm just going to draw some circles on here. Now when I make circles, if you want to try to get a perfect circle, I like to trace things. So I'm just going to use the bottom of my marker to make that circle for my eyes. Cut them out. And when you have your child cut them out, you just want to encourage them to try to stay on that line and work on turning the, their paper as they cut. All right, so we have the white part of our eyes, and now we are going to make. So for this, I'm just going to trace the top of my marker. Now we're just going to glue the black pupil into the whites of our eyes. And you can glue the pupil wherever you want. You can do it towards the bottom or the middle. Just make your jellyfish's eyes however you think it's going to look. Fun. So now I'm going to glue the eyes into the middle of my plate.
and then just kind of use your fingers to hold them down for a second to make sure that they stick. So now we're going to draw a mouth on our jellyfish. You can make your jellyfish smiling, you can make him frown, you can make him have a silly face. I'm going to make my jellyfish look a little mad, so I'm going to have him frown. Like he's not too happy about something. So now that we have the face on our jellyfish, we're going to turn it over so that we can glue its tentacles on the back. So for tentacles today, I am just using some tissue paper that I had lying around. Um, if you don't have tissue paper though, you can easily use paper. Tissue paper is nice to use because it's a different texture um, than regular paper. So if your child's working on cutting, tissue paper is a little harder to cut because it's softer and because it's not as, it's a little more flimsy, it tends to move around too. So I'm just going to do a couple of long strips that I will then cut in half. Now we're just going to cut these in half. And then taking my glue stick, I'm just going to glue them to the bottom of my plate. You can make your tentacles close together, far apart, whatever you think is going to make your jellyfish look fun. So my tentacles are all on, so if you just turn your jellyfish over, there you have it. A jellyfish that's really easy to make at home. We use a paper plate, then we use some markers to color it in. You can also use crayons if you have crayons at home. We use some white and black paper to make our eyes, and then we use some tissue paper to make our tentacles. If you don't have tissue paper, it's really easy to, you can use construction paper. So this is a great craft that's really easy to do at home and you get to work on a couple different skills, working on pinching and then also cutting. <music>